We're here today. <laughs> you saw it. It just, yeah, I went live. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I have been waiting for this. Take your time, no rush. Okay. No rush, make your appearance. Um, we can wait for people, we can wait for some people to get in. Touche. I've been waiting to kick it, kick it, kick it, with Mr. Albino, okay? Albino. Albino, Albino. Period. Is he half Spanish? Um, not that I know of. No? <laughs> no, I'm black. Well, this is black Spanish, but you know what I mean. What's up, Kiki? I love you. How are you, girl? I'm glad you can see the comments. Um, per, who said that? I want to be able to see the comments on your computer. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I was thinking of, but I'm trying to, this angle has to be right, because this is the one you're going to post. Okay. And right now I see, like, your phone and everything behind. We're getting it together. We're trying. It's a vibe. It's work. YouTube is work. Thank you. I had um, a day today. I had a lot to do today. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to wake up and actually do my face. I don't even know where to find my own live. Like, that's, I really don't be on YouTube like that. So if I want to see the live that I'm in right now, okay, I see it. I don't know what I'm doing over here. Okay. Okay, so we can see our comments. It's a vibe. Let me fix my little hair. You know what I'm gonna do? What you about to do? I'm gonna put this right here. It's too big though. I feel like I don't need it pre-recorded. It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, because I'm just gonna post the live and then you'll share or whatever. I, I don't know how that works, but. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna be here for a week. We can do this again. Girls night. Girls night. You feel me? I really don't have that many YouTube crushes, but this is one of them. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> you are. I don't watch people's YouTubes, and I say that all the time. I can't because it gives me anxiety because I'm like comparing oh. myself, you know, or I'm just like, dang, like, you know, I don't like to. Um, get in my head about things. Right. So I just kind of like to do my own thing. But I did see yours and I was like, damn, he made Nairobi look better in like one video than I have this whole time. <laughs> okay. <everybody. laughs> Ta-da! Hi. What is up, you oh, guys? Oh, this is cool. Look Isn't this it? Thing. Yeah, I like this. This is looking real professional. Right. I'm going to look at myself the whole time. Yeah, on both. So I'm going to try not to look at this one and look at the camera. Right, right. Yeah, can you see? Your, you're kind of blocked off because of the mic, but I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah it looks good on this. So I feel like, let's get started here. First of all, cheers. Cheers. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me on your channel. Um, I feel like we all see the vibes. Thank you, Percy. I feel like we all see the vibes. Everyone knows yeah. you're a vibe. Mm. When did your travel, <laughs> when did your travel start? Like, I feel like we know you're a vibe, but we don't know the story. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So mm. you don't really get like too personal. Right. You just Which I'm gonna change. I'm gonna like start showing more of myself. <laughs> I can't call myself a lifestyle blogger. Exactly. I'm not letting them in, you know? Exactly. So for those who do not know you, do you want to introduce yourself really quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Julian Albino. Um, I'm an American, I'm not going to say base, I'm an American travel vlogger currently traveling around Africa. Currently traveling around Africa. Yeah. But I saw you were <laughs> in Mexico. Yeah, so I started my travels. It's so funny. So when I, before I left the U.S., I was like, I'm going to Africa. I'm going straight to Africa. And I left the U.S. January 2021. But in December 2020, I was like, damn, Africa is really far. You know, let, let me let me try somewhere else a little closer, just yeah. in case this doesn't work out. So I ended up going to um, Mexico first. Stayed there for literally five months. After that, I was still, like, making money. My channel got monetized. I was still doing real estate. So everything was, like, still, like, progressing. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take this leap and go to Africa. 
So let's rewind, because I have a couple that questions. That was a lot, right? No, 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 that was perfect. <laughs> but I gotta get the contextualization going. Yeah. So you grew up where? Grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, Queen, born, Queen born City. Born in Chicago, though. Queen City vibes. Charlotte is boring, though. So boring. You see, I left, right? It's hella boring. So boring. Like, so, like, did you go to college? Yeah, so after, what's that thing called? High school. Went to college. What's that thing called? For two years, my family wanted me to be, like, a physical therapist. Mm. And I didn't really know. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll go to school for that. A year and a half. I also wanted to do real estate. And I knew with doing real estate, I didn't need a degree. So you I, give you give real estate agent. Yeah, definitely. You seem do. like a seller. Honestly, enough. Nah, like when I'm showing houses like in person, I open the door. I'm like, look around. If you have any questions, let me know. Yeah. <laughs> Be blessed. Yeah, <laughs> if it's for you, it's for you. If not, we keep looking. I'm really that type of agent. Mm. But in real estate, you're more so selling yourself than the actual properties. Because people just want to work with someone they feel comfortable with. Yeah. That's really their life. The they yeah. trust exactly so your family was like go get a degree go do this yeah go do this. yeah well no they weren't like pressuring me it was just like well you know you're in school do this but i was like mom i want to be a real estate broker so she paid for the class i think it was 500 and she's like look i'm not <laughs> we're not doing this again you got one time so i did that at 19 passed the test on the first try which is very very hard and then after that yeah i dropped out and started selling houses Wow, so how was that for you? Were you making like... Honestly, no, in the beginning, like what you learn in real estate school are like the laws. They don't actually teach you mm. how to find clients, how to like mm. run a business. So after that, I was like, okay, what now? So I started working in the like apartment industry mm. as like a property manager. Okay, that's a vibe. Yeah, but Y'all, I was I'm also... trying to get my bun right. I'm sorry. My, yeah. bun, my bun is like just <laughs> falling apart right now. It's... Do you want me to do it? Yeah, can you? Let me try. Look, keyboard can try. <laughs> I'm like sitting here. I'm about to be playing with my bun all day. I got my hair done, y'all. I thought it was going to be cheap, but you know what the expensive part was? The ombre. Oh. Ombre hair here is very expensive. Really? Yeah. It looks so good, though. I love it. I needed a new vibe. I don't think I'm doing this right. We're, as long as it's not falling, I think we're fine. <laughs> Nah, this is about how I did it. Yeah, just wrap it under. It's this stuff. one looks taller, though. I'll wrap it under. Yeah, we just going behind with it. It's okay, y'all. Yeah, I wish I could do hair. I wish I could, too. <laughs> I can't even do two French braids, which is the crazy part. Oh, I did pretty good. Yes, thank you. Ooh. <laughs> okay, back in business, you guys. So you were selling apartments. You managing apartments. Yeah, yeah, managing apartments. Did that for, like, four or five years. And then, like, year number four, I basically, I started, <laughs> I started taking the apartment tenants and turning them into real estate clients, you know? Because I'm, like, 500 units I was managing, and a lot of those people were buying homes. And I'm, like, bro, I have, like, a built-in, like, lead pool right here. So, started doing that. They found out. I quit. Started, and I moved back. At this time, I was living in Augusta, Georgia, mm. which was lame. And then I moved back to Charlotte, went into a Oh, my time. God. Why would you move to Augusta? <sighs> Not well, Atlanta? See, the job I was with, the company I was with, with the apartments, they started me in Atlanta. Okay. And then once that apartment started doing well, they were like, well, we really need help with one of our, like, Augusta properties. Mm. So that's how I ended up there. Hated okay. it. We used to call it Disgusta. Just, ooh. Yeah. I like that. that. Disgusta, Georgia. <laughs> Damn. Disgusta. Did you go to Atlanta a lot when you were in Disgusta? Look, I worked on Saturdays. I got off at 4 p.m., had my bags packed. 7 o'clock, I was in Atlanta. Like, How do you love Atlanta? I love Atlanta. I feel like, no, I don't know. I love Atlanta, but now that I'm like, I don't know, a little older, I couldn't, I couldn't see myself living there. It's just, it's too much. It's, it's too much. Place. Yeah, but it's too much to live there. I feel like I would get in a lot of trouble. I did. That's why I left. <laughs> Atlanta was about to eat me up. I'm starting to feel yeah. that way about Nairobi. Really? You know what? It's just too much to do. I don't have self-control. Mm. So, like, if I if, if you give me a good time, I'm going to take it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my problem. Oh, I'm so, to share this online, right? Yeah, I have somebody. I just have, like... I don't know how to do if that. I start meeting too many people and things become too mixy, it's, I feel like it's time for me to move on and, I feel that. and learn new people. Feel you know? That. Yeah. yeah, you can't be doing too much, too much. So you were in Augusta. What made you just like, you know what? I'm about to 
I want to shift. Like, I don't want to live in America anymore. Mm. Hold on, let me pause that part. Um, ask the question again. What made <laughs> you just say, like, I'm over America. Like, I'm ready to keep moving. I mean, I think it was during 2020, the panty situation. Like, I was mm. at home. It was July 2020. And I'm like, you know what? My goal was to sell real estate. And I was like, okay, I've accomplished this. It's not even a challenge anymore. Mm. So I'm like, what, what really makes me happy? And I thought and thought and thought. And the only thing that I really enjoyed was um, traveling. And before this, I used to work, while I was still doing real estate, when I really started, the, like the beginning of the career after leaving Augusta, I had a part-time job at American Airlines. So I got free flight benefits. Oh my God, I yeah. hate y'all. So that just opened uh, my eyes. My, I was gone all the time. My ex works for Delta. <laughs> yes. And I am so jealous. Who's your um? Who's your companion buddy you have down? Hmm? Y'all get like a companion you get to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't work with him now. Well, well back then. Who oh, at the time, who was it? It was my best friend named okay. John. Okay. He went on two trips the whole year. I was like, bro, you know, like on the low, they low key sell them to people. Yeah. yeah I was like, bro, I could have sold this and made a lot more. Yeah, people yeah. sell them. But, you know, a lot of people were afraid to travel during the pandemic. Look, like, like, I honestly think 2020 was the best year to travel. Like, it'd be like four people on the plane. They will upgrade you to first class just because they didn't have anyone on the plane. Yeah. Security was fast. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. I was enjoying that too because flights yeah. were cheap. And they were cheap. As soon as this pandemic ended, Ooh, I'm not so even trying cheap. to fly from Atlanta to Miami. It's Literally. expensive. Literally. During the pandemic, I had an ex who lived in LA. Mm. So I used to fly back and forth for like $120. Mm. Now it's like $500. You might as well just fly to Nairobi. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. I know during the panty in July 2020, during this whole, like, what do I want to do? I went to New York for a month in July. And my ticket was like $20. Round That's trip. crazy. Yeah, wow. it was crazy. So crazy. So you get to Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what city did you go to first? I went to Medina, Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, why I chose that, I honestly don't know. It just kept popping up. I just said, mm-hmm, but I don't know where the fuck that is. It though. just kept popping up on my YouTube. Is it um, like Central, Coast, South? Where North? is that place at? What, is, what city is it close to? It's in the Yucatan state, which I think is near like the, the Gulf like, Coast or the peninsula of Mexico. Like kind of by Cabo-ish? Mm, it's like four hours from Cancun. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's really just like in the middle of nowhere, really. But it's a very developed city. It's like you'll be driving on dirt roads for four hours and it's like a city. And it's like, oh, okay. So you wanted to do like the off the beaten path, not like Tulum yeah, or like... at first, like... I don't know, I feel like part of my like traveling is also like, just like look within. Cause at the time I was still trying to figure out what do I want to do? Yeah. So being in Medellin, Mexico, like there was nothing to do. I just really had time to figure out like what's the next step. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna take the mic out. We just gotta be loud. Okay, okay. But usually my phone is good. Okay. So y'all, um, Julian got me together when I got here. I definitely, <laughs> I gotta step up my equipment game. Cause it's just like, okay, here's your mic. Oh, it's actually supposed to be facing this way now. <laughs> Seems to be on front camera. <laughs> he's like, out. yeah, he's like, where's your mic? Um, why are you using your front camera? Do you have an iPhone? He was like, he was like, you know, I was looking at your thumbnails and wondering. I'm like, oh, no, 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 they're no, good. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. <laughs> no. Oh, that's funny. I'm like, okay, let's get it together. Right. Um, let me find a. Where do I oh, for the charger. We're having some TDs right now, guys. Yes, we got a lot going on. Do you have a power bank? Mm. I do, but I don't think it's charged. Oh, but in the meantime, use this. Because it has a USB. Perfect. Just put it right there. Thank you. Wow, your gadget even has a USB. I charger. know. That was a gift from my best you friend. You are living. <laughs> Same. Make sure so it should be charging. Okay, yeah, I wanted to share this on mine. How did I do it now? I don't want to exit out of it, but I'm sure it's charging. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, um, what should I say? Live with Brittany, tap in. Hold on. And it's so funny. I was supposed to uh, shoot a Q&A soon. I still might do it. You should. Yeah. I can't 
cannot see. Can't there is no on. need to be abusive. Who's being abusive? Oh, I swear I forget to read those comments. I've been talking to the comments half the time in my life. You guys are so <laughs> much fun together. What a collab. Y'all are so cute. Stop. Um, I'm happy all of y'all are here. This was like a fun surprise. I How many people are in here? I did not mm. even like really, because you know I don't watch YouTube. Yeah. So I didn't really know who Julian Albino was until everyone is like, um, why aren't you hooking up with Julian? Mm. Where's the Julian video? Mm. Waiting on the Julian video. Mm. They like, they <laughs> manifested you in my life. So then I was like, what is the hype? Like, why are y'all harassing me? It was you and JT Bigger Figure. Okay, okay. And they were like, yeah, Brittany, like I messaged him for you. Yeah, no, like my first uh, Kenya <laughs> video, it was like, Hit up Brittany in Africa. Africa. Hit up Brittany in Africa. And I was like, who is this girl? And yes. then I watched one of your lives. I was dying laughing. Like, I was like, I have to meet her. It have was, to meet it was her. fun. So you're in Mexico. How was oh, that? Someone said I should get closer because of the echo. Thank you. Um, Mexico, look, this is the funny part. So in Mexico, I was really focused on getting my channel up. I had a goal I wanted to get monetized in three months. It was really just like business content, 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 content. I was just trying to do whatever to really get me monetized. Got monetized in 31 days. Oh! Yeah, off one video. And I knew that wow. video was going to do well. After that, like... I How did you know that video was going to do well? Like, what, what was the video? It was um, an apartment tour video of, like, homes mm. in Mexico. And okay. I've seen, like... I mean, this is no shade. Like, other creators do it. And they always got great views. But I'm like... I come from this world of shooting like real estate videos, and I'm like, I can do better at this. So I did. And you like, video, I'm about to turn up. Yeah, I was like, I'm about to go in with this video. I yes. know it's going to do well. Yeah. Why Mexico though? Why not like Costa Rica? Yeah, I mean, like I mentioned earlier, I was just nervous so to go like super far from my first country, like leaving, leaving. Of course, I traveled like internationally before, but it was like three, four, five days. Okay. This I like sold everything, told everyone goodbye, mm. broke up with my boyfriend at the time. Dang, why you do that? I mean, he didn't have a passport. Oh, what, he was from Atlanta. Out of here. Charlotte. Oh, uh, worse. Even oh. worse. Not a good guy though, but. Dang, you couldn't help him get an application? I mean, that's a whole other video. <laughs> okay, yeah. I feel the vibe. I think I feel that's the vibe. Video. Yeah, I have, a, I have an ex who doesn't have a password either. We'll chat later. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so how was, like, when you first got there, was it a vibe? Was it what you thought it was going to be? Mm, I mean, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. I go to countries, like, I'm not really scared of like traveling or like going to like foreign places it's like the complete opposite it excites me mm. like I, i'm more scared of being in a place for too long and becoming complacent mm. versus like going to new places you know yeah so when i got there i had been in mexico before um so i knew like mexicans are typically like very friendly welcoming and yeah i had no problems but i thought i was having like the time of my life until five months later, I decided to go to South Africa. Mm. And I was like, damn, looking back, I was like, bro, I was so bored in Mexico. You were bored? I was bored. I was bored out of my mind. Really? Yeah. Do you know a lot of Spanish? Mm, I can get by. I got up to Spanish three. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but nah, it definitely still needs some work. So why South Africa? I saw a documentary in high school at 16, and it was like a bunch of like black Americans in the 90s. I've been asked this a lot, so I feel like I have it like... Your speech? Yeah. Give your spiel! <laughs> Give your spiel, Julian. Yeah, you know, I saw a documentary back in high school, and it was like black Americans moving into South Africa to like start over, and were thriving. And I don't know, that shit really clicked with me. And I knew at a young age, like, I didn't want to, like, set roots in a non-majority black country. Somebody just said, Brittany, you're not going to like the audio. Should I close the doors? Like the doors that are open? Oh, maybe. Yeah, hold on. Thank y'all for looking out. They do. They do. Or maybe it changed. I don't know. I might go. I don't know. Y'all, I'm looking at ghetto lights. Like, 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 like,
know these European guys Can you say American? Sorry, look. Damn. I think that's that's a twelve. Is this better? Let me know if this is better. Brit, the pics are a bit blurry. Could they be a sharper HD? Y'all don't have the vibe, y'all. I'm doing the best I can. Uh uh, are we? How do I? Should I get on Wi Fi? You know the Wi Fi? No, I'm just on my dad. I don't oh, know why I'm on my computer. Damn. Maybe I'm a drummer. Wow, I'm a Kenyan working as a senior consultant char a manager in Charlotte. How crazy. This and that. Is this better, you guys? Yeah, let us know. Well, when I'm watching it on here, it looks fine. Yeah. I wonder, did it, I think I posted it on my thing. I just want to see if it was. Yes, no, fine. Y'all, y'all just got a vibe. Y'all just go with the vibes. We'll do like a, a better one later, cause I'm gonna take him out. We're gonna do a nightlife together. Mm -hmm. This girl parties. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think I'm ready for my YouTube to really see um, the real oh, nightlife. I'm gonna keep it soft. But then we couldn't see ourselves. But we could, looking at the... Um... You wanna turn it? Yeah, let's turn it. Okay. Y'all, we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> This is ghetto today, but we're learning to. And then we'll look at ourselves on this screen. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, that's smarter. Yeah. Let me do a quick little wipe wipe situation. <laughs> Let me close some of these tabs. Oh, that's good. It looks Maybe the same, but whatever works for the people. Someone said finally. Okay. Okay. We can do that for now. Anyway, so okay. you Google, you were watching something on South Africa. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching a documentary back in high school, and I don't know, it was so inspired. It was like uh, three or four Black Americans that left the U.S. They weren't happy there. Literally, like my same like sentiments. Started over in South Africa and were thriving. And this was in the 90s. Mm -hmm. So. I and don't apartheid know. wasn't too far from that. That's true. I think that was, what, 94? Mm hmm. Yeah, so it was right after that. Okay, so. history. You know! <laughs> you know, I'm a history teacher. Really? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Well, that's all I got. Look, that's all. Don't ask me no more questions because I'm going to get it wrong. Honey, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not teaching them wrong. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. Okay, yeah. And then I also. This is a good plug-in. With me being in the LGBT community, I knew with like starting off in Africa that South Africa would naturally would naturally be like the smartest decision to start off with. Okay, so yeah. you, are you a loner? Mm, I don't think I'm a loner. I'm more of um, like I don't know. I feel like I'm really in the like middle. Like I can be very introverted. But then after a couple of while, I'm like, I need to be around people. Mm -hmm. Like, I need both, but I gotta have both. It's not one or the other. Like, okay. if I'm with people for like more than four days, oh my God. Like, I just, I kind of shut down. Yeah. Like, I need like alone time. How old are you during this time? So, you go to South Africa, how old are you? When did I go? That was last year. Uh, 29. I'm 39. Okay, so that's a vibe. That's yeah. a vibe. Was your family like, yo, what are you doing? Like, you yeah, just went from Mexico, you're going to freaking. South Africa, yeah. Julian, like. Well, no, I, when, once I got to South Africa, they kind of were like on board. But at first, like nobody literally believed me back home. Like before I left the U.S. to go to Mexico, I'm like, guys, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm going to. Yeah, right. Yeah, they were like, Mexico, like, what? okay, girl. And literally, I had a roommate at the time. I'm moving all of my stuff out, selling it like. Random people I'm meeting on Craigslist is coming to pick up a mattress, a bed, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And he's just sitting on the couch, not believing me. And then I left, and he was like, "Where are you going? Where are you going?" I was like, "Bitch, I'm going to Mexico." <laughs> he started crying. I was like, "Boy, we had adios, motherfucker." Sayonara. Yeah. yeah. So even my mom, she was just like, "Is everything okay?" Like. You you leaving us, you leaving your man, you leaving like real estate behind. And yeah. 
she was like, how are you going to make money? But she didn't understand that I was still going to sell houses virtually. Mm. Like, she just couldn't understand that at first. And so I had to show her. And I was yeah. like. You know, parents, their yeah. generation don't even get, like, YouTube. Exactly. She didn't. She didn't. Yeah, they don't get it until you start showing the check. And that's annoying. Because that's when she, like, got on board when I told her, like, about brand deals. And she was like, oh, my son is a YouTuber. He's a YouTuber. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Literally. Like and subscribe to my son. She would go out now. Yeah. She's like, would you subscribe to my son's channel? And I'm Aww. like, girl. Nah, give me that energy in the beginning. Nah, I'm playing. I'm That's playing. cute, though. Yeah. So you get to South Africa. Mm. You start apartment shopping. Do mm. you ever go with the mindset, like, I plan on settling, or are you just nomading at this point? Mm, I'm nomading at this point. But I know, like, when I'm finished, when I'm tired of, like, traveling, I'm probably going to settle down in South Africa. In South Africa? Yeah, in South Africa. Though. What Absolutely. did you love the most? And you were in Jayburg. Jayburg first, then okay. left, then came back, and then Cape Town. Which did you love most, Jayburg or Cape Town? Mm, I don't know. I like them both. Like, kind of like political answers. No, it's really and... not. Because, like, I'm the type of, like, I plan to live in both cities. You know, like. If you had to choose one, though, that's the thing we don't have to choose. Brittany <laughs> wants you to choose. Which one would you spend more time in? I think I would spend more time now because I'm like still in work mode in Johannesburg. Okay. And then when I'm tired of working and I just mm -hmm. want to like live and be fabulous, Cape I would Cape, go to Cape Town. Cape Town. Yeah. Is there a difference between like the people? Because mm -hmm. I can say like in Nairobi, there is a difference between the people here and on the beach. Um, I, I think so. I honestly feel like people were, I'm not to say like people in Cape Town were friendly because they were, but in like Johannesburg, it was just like super welcoming, mm. like overly welcoming. Like I was like, dang, I've never experienced this shit in my life. Like mm. very, very welcoming, you know? Yeah. I think that's really the only difference. Do you like, because you know, a lot of people who come do like research before, find expat groups, kind of look out for people to link up with when they get there. Do you do that or do you just pull up? I just pull up. I just pull up and I'm like, I'm here. I'm ready to explore, really. You think it makes it easier? Like, people are actually more friendly to you because they know you on YouTube? Like, even when we went out the other night, mm. of course, people were like, oh um, my God, like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. You know, because they know you from YouTube. <laughs> so yeah. you're going to get like more of a welcoming vibe versus right, like right. somebody who just pulls up. Right, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Now I do. When I first started, like, no one really knew. Um, you know, until even here, like, Every country that I start off with, like the first week or two, is chill. Like even like the building I live in, nobody knows me until I post yeah. the video. Yeah, and then they're like, "Oh my god!" And I'm just like, "Yeah, oh my god. yeah." What were some of your favorite things to do in Jayburg? Do they play Alma Piano in Jayburg as much as they play it here? I mean, yeah, that's like a South African music. That's genre. like so mostly what they play. Like elevator music. <laughs> Dance for us, Alma Piano. Real oh quick. no, y'all gotta pay extra <laughs> for that. Um, my favorite is Big Flexa. Oh, I don't even know what that is. How's it on? Flexa. Pull up in the beamer. Oh, are you serious? I bet you I know it, but it's just not coming to me. My neck's still cold like winter. I, uh, oh my god. Were you not at Gemini the other night? I was there, but was I? <laughs> <laughs> it was like 5 a.m. Was I? Was I? Yeah, oh no. We gotta turn up Big Flexa after this. I'm gonna get you hip. Yeah, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. So you are in Joburg. You mm. make your way to Cape Town. What mm -hmm. made you like, I'm over it? Like, what, what feelings do you start feeling when you're like, okay, it's time for me to move on? Well, when I was in Johannesburg, I did not want to leave. But I only had a 90-day visa. So I had to leave. Like, on my last leave day. Leave South Africa? Yeah, like, leave the entire country. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was so sad. That was the first time that I traveled that I did not want to leave, like, the country. Damn. I was so sad, but I'm like, if I want to come back legally, I got to go. So I went to Rwanda for 30 days, did that, and then I came back to South Africa and went to Cape Town. Mm. Mm. Okay. How was Rwanda? Because I thought, I thought I saw something like, oh my God, I got kicked out of Rwanda. No, I got attacked in Rwanda, but... I did a whole video on that. Like, I didn't oh, watch it. I took it down. Well, I made it private. I didn't take it down. I made it private. Why? Because I felt like, only because I felt like going forward, like all of my future videos, people were just commenting like, 
oh, be safe, be safe. We saw the yeah. last video. And it was like this prolonged like sympathy that I just didn't Yeah, want. I feel that. Oh, you don't yeah. want like the... I yeah, totally feel that, that like you're in taste. Yeah, mm. I took my, I did like a I got fired from ISK video, yeah. and I deleted it because it's like I don't even want the bad vibes on my video list. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? When I first posted, I was cool with it, but then like a month later, people, I'm posting Kenya content now. They're just like, be careful! I saw your Rwanda video. And I'm yeah, like, I'm over sorry. it. Um, <laughs> was, I'm done with this. was it like a random attack, like a fight? Yeah, no, it was, uh, I feel like it was super isolated. We, I went to the hood of uh, Kigali, Rwanda, mm. which, like, you know, looking back, that was my mistake. Knowing who I am, I should not be in, like, the most dangerous parts of any city, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't do that in the U.S., so I'm like, Why would I, I do that there? Yeah. Wasn't thinking. So, yeah, people were drinking, it got out of hand. Yeah, it was a fight. It is what it is. It is what but it is. But you didn't get deported or nothing? No, 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 no. Yeah. After that, I was like, I'm ready to go. Did you leave early? No, I didn't. It was like literally my last day, like going um, away. Well, at least it was your last day. Yeah, last day. Yeah, so then you go back to South Africa, and it was not Jayberg. You went to Cape Town. Correct, correct. And what was like your first initial view of Cape Town? Oh, I mean, I was just like, this place is beautiful. And like in person, you have to go. Like, I was just like, I just wanted to go outside, just look at the mountains, look at um, what is it called? It's like God, Godfather's tablecloth or something. Yeah, something like it's it. like where the clouds just kind of like chill. On did you see the penguins? I didn't make it out to the penguins. Can we go to Cape Town and do wineries? Can we, can, I didn't even go to the wineries. Yes, that's the only reason I <laughs> want to go to South Africa is to do the no wineries. Because yeah. yeah. wine is not a thing in other parts of Africa. Yeah, and it's God. such a big thing. It's like yes. in the culture in Cape Town. Yes. Yeah. It was a vibe. So are you dating throughout all of this? Like, do you... Mm, do I date? You know how people, like, do Bumble and stuff? Yeah. Do you, like... No, I definitely get on, like, um, Tinder. This is a, a travel hack, guys, but be safe. But I feel like people ask me, like, how do you meet people? I mean, now it's just, like, usually on Instagram. But a good way to get, like, a usually a free experience... Um, and probably experience like that you, you know, normally wouldn't find on like, I don't know, Google is like, talk to a local on Tinder. If he seems cool, meet him in a public place. He takes mm. you somewhere cool. Most times it's free. You know, you get like a cool experience. Yeah. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. I mean, like, I don't go on like Tinder meeting a lot of people. Bubble is like, not just for like sex, like Tinder. Yeah. So yeah. I have not personally been a Bumble, but I know people who go to like meet. Is like, Tinder for sex? That's how I look at it. It was 10%. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's charging now. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's charging. This is a ghetto. This is a ghetto session, but it's a vibe. Let's see what they're saying. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm uh, going to Rwanda as well. I've seen that name before. Maya or Mia Skies. Sykes. Table Mountain. Table Mountain. Yeah, but like, what's the white stuff that, you know, what's the clouds? What they call it, like, tablecloths. It's so. something. I know I'm not crazy. Tablecloth. Um, listen, I'm at the hotel Julian recommended. Black brick. Yeah, you need to show your um your brand deals that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Use code Juju for twenty percent off. No, I'm joking. Yeah, we do have high ceilings in here, so it's a little different, y'all. We're uh, in a we're in a luxury apartment, not Britney's normal <laughs> apartment. So the sound needs are a little different here. Um. I love when he dances. I thought he flew back to the States. Julian's shirt, though, and Britney's hair. Purr. Purr. Um, Cape Town, Jayberg. I love the house music. Y'all are so fun. Brittany, you lit today, and your guests, too. Yeah, we lit. Can you please shout out St. Nazaire, France? Shout out to St. Nazaire, France. The documentary, yes. Blacks Without Borders. They know it. Yes, Maya. Listen, my followers are smart, intelligent. We need a new video. Stop playing with us. Ooh. Yeah, I've seen that a lot. They're like, Julian, where's the videos? Look, guys. So, I do all my own editing. Like, all my own editing. And I enjoy editing. But it takes so long. For a 15-minute video, it takes me like 20 hours to edit. So, I just can't do that anymore. So, I'm in the process of hiring an editor which I just did yesterday. 
So, yeah, you know, if everything works out with that, I'll be having, like, more consistent content. But if not, y'all just got to get it when I get it. <laughs> when I give it because I do other stuff besides, like, just YouTube editing. So but I have, have you ever that. thought of just, like, living more? Mm, I mean, no, I never really thought of it. But Because that's not no work. Yeah. I don't know, but the, like the way I like my content to look. Yeah, you're that really is like more than just like theatrical isn't the word. Theatrical mm, is not the word. Cinematic. For. Yeah, yeah, cinematic. That's what I'm going for. Yeah. yeah, it's like an experience. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What I'm to get. So I hate that this is like blurry like this. I know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I'm on Wi-Fi. I don't know. It looks so clear here, though. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, someone said it's clear. It's clear? Yeah, maybe it's oh, maybe it's just like on here. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna stop overthinking it. I just be like, yo, yeah, the people, you get what you get. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I changed the settings. Okay, perfect. It's cool. Yeah. Oof, my hair. Guys, don't mind Can you it. Please stop. Oh my oh god, my you're god. one of those people who are like twenty pounds. I'm like, I'm so fat. <laughs> like your hair looks fine. Ooh. It could look better. You know what I mean by that. I told him that he needs to change his hair to like this color. Like this color. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Let us know if you think he should change his hair to burgundy. I think it's a vibe. Because I'm thinking about just going back to black for like three months. Because y'all, I mean, I look good with black hair too. Like, don't let it fool. But I don't know. And I think I need to like just give my hair time to like breathe. breathe. Just chill out. Do you do cornrows? I would if I had the hair. Would you? Have you ever had them in your life? Mm -hmm. No. I do. I want some faux locks though. Oh, don't don't be one of those. No, I do. I just want. Please to don't. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I know a Nigerian here who gets fake hair added and does cornrows, and I'm not into it. I don't like it. Yeah. I yeah. Know a lot of Nigerians that do that. I don't That's like, like it. Me. So, what is your type? My type. 6'3 and above, 220 to 260. Damn! Ball a head. football player? Pretty much with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a bald football player with a beard. Yes. What are five qualities that you have to have in a man that are not physical? Mm, a passport. Um, what if he has a passport where he's never been anywhere? That's fine. We can change that. But at least you have that. Like, okay. That says a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. Five qualities, girl. So Tinder didn't happening? even ask me this. Oh, Brittany wants to know. Oh, I don't even know. Think about really, it. I'm not looking for a man, guys. I know you're not looking yeah. for a man, but if you had to have a husband, mm. what would he need to have? Do you want me to tell you my first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Give me an example. And then, yeah. I need a man who is good in omelets. Okay. So when I say that, I need to be able to take you to like a presidential inauguration dinner. Very important. As well as like my cousin Pookie house. Mm. In Homestead, Florida. Okay, you know, you need okay. to be good everywhere. Okay. I need a man who is cultured when it comes to food and mm. wine. Mm. So I don't need you going out asking for the salmon because I will get up <laughs> and walk the I fuck out. I hate that. Yeah, I will walk the fuck out. I, I do correct not my like mom that. every time she says like, that. Like, literally, it, it, <laughs> I don't know what it ignites in me, right. but the devil comes out of me. Oh, um, gosh, I don't like that. I do not like that. I need a man who is educated outside of traditional education. Okay. So you need to know about black history, African history, um, have an interest in learning, mm -hmm. not just like watching bullshit on TV, but you actually like, or you being out of college doesn't mean that you stop learning. Mm, that's true. You're still educating yourself. That's true. That's um, true. I need a man who listens. Yeah. Period. Yeah. <laughs> that's the end of that. Yeah. Um, hear me, because I'm hearing you. And then I need a man who um, doesn't mind, like, hey, like, helping me with, like, hey, does this look good? Or, like, hey, like, a, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, into me yeah. and mine as much as he's into his and his. Okay, I get it. So, like, because some guys will be like, yeah, some guys will be like, yeah, you look good. But, like, I actually really enjoy men who are like, hey, I saw this hairstyle. Like, I think you will really look good in that. Oh, really? Like, let's try that. Oh, I don't like that. You don't like that? No. Why? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to be so offended. No, because he can mm. love your hair and be like, hey, I, not even if it's on a girl, but like, mm. you know, hey, I think next maybe we should do like full ups. I like guys who are like into my look okay. or like into okay. what I'm wearing or like a guy who would be like, hey, I went shopping and I know that you would look good in this. 
CVS. This would look good in your yeah, body. You want to buy it for me? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. So like, yeah, um, come home. I know you like these shoes. I got to match your shoes. That type of vibe. Like, a, okay. somebody who's into me as much as he's into himself. I guess you know. Yeah, I love that. Upkeep me. Love that. Love yeah, that. Yeah, so those are things that are important to me. Okay. I'm thinking like, ooh, I don't even Can know. you give me three? I just don't even like be out here. If a guy that. had to step to Julian Albino, what would he need to have? Like, no, but these are things you need to know. Can I tell you something? Mm. My sister was dating the most fucked up people for like five years straight. Mm. She was having, and she is beautiful, model, Miss USA 2016, mm. famous. Like, there's no reason she should not have had a man. Too, sorry, Tweety. Um, but it's like, she wasn't manifesting. Mm. She didn't know exactly what she wanted. Mm. So it was not coming. I think that's where I'm at right it's now. It's like, if you don't have a road, if you have no destination, where are you going? Yeah. If you don't know where you want to yeah. go. In my dating life. In your dating life, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. dating. Like, no, your other life Making you turn out. everything. Yeah, Ooh. so it's kind of like, that's what I realized. Like, you've got to really know what you're looking for to attract it. And then that helps you to be able to be like, this person is not it, so I'm not even going to waste my energy. Right, right. Yeah, so we'll come back at the end. Yeah, we'll come back. The last, so I'll let you That was like a, a deep Dr. Uyama question. Yes! <laughs> I'm giving Britney Fix Your Life. Fix My Life. <laughs> Guys, because my, my dating life is trash. I have not been in a relationship longer than five months. Oh, it's going to go down deeper living in Nairobi. So just I, I don't even try to date here. Like, yeah, man, don't. Don't, don't, don't. Don't date Don't, don't. yeah. Well, that's I what I told you at first. I was like, listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just not trying to date. Yeah. No, nah, dating is not everything, especially when you're trying to get to the bag. Exactly. Yeah. You're trying to get to the bag. So do you plan on staying in Nairobi? That's the question that a lot of people want to know. Mm, I don't know. Like the way I like move around guys, I like my whole life is just based on how I feel. Mm, I so, love that for you. Yeah, like for real. You're lucky. Yeah, so You're blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Why are your eyelashes so nice? I put mascara on. Okay, I was about to say, yeah. no fucking like this niggas. I was like, no, but even without mascara, yeah. you have long eyelashes. Because I really just do it to like. But it's a very light mascara. Yeah, it's really not a lot. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Do you wear makeup? Mm -hmm. The okay. other day at the club, I, I was, will though. I was looking at your skin the other day, uh, like this nigga got a <laughs> No, I was like, like no, because I was looking at the video and I was yeah. like, oh my god, his complexion yeah. is perfect. Drop the skin routine. <laughs> it's coming soon. It's coming soon. He's like, brand deal coming. I got one up already with perfect tone. Check that out. You know, the code is linked below. I hate you. <laughs> so, but for real. <laughs> Check for the code, you guys. Check for the code. It's a skincare video. Probably. So, how did you feel when you came to Nairobi and you're like looking at it compared to South Africa? Like, keep it real, because this is the same. See, that's the thing, though. When I came here, I didn't compare it. Um, yeah, I don't want to even compare. Oh, please. Not for real, I don't. I compare, I really but don't. not in a negative way. But I'm just like, mm, if I want to visit, or when people ask, because mm. I'm sure a lot of people ask, like, mm. hey, I'm going. To Africa, should I go to Cape Town or blah yeah. blah blah? But yeah. I asked them like what vibe they're looking for. Okay. Yeah. 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 If it's like an older person that just want to like chill out and like their version of vacation is just staying on the resort, having drinks, Cape Town. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to be out in the streets, Johannesburg mm -hmm. or Nairobi, like same vibe. Very so it's kind of like a personalization what's built off of you. Exactly. Which one do you like better, South Africa or Cape? South Africa, like for me, South Africa just trumps. Like, mm. it's like number one for me. Yeah. What has been some things that you just love about Kenya? Um, Kenya. I think well, for one, the people. The people are very, very friendly. Oh, very okay. nice. Yeah, I feel like the people make any place you go, and Kenyans have been very welcoming, very warm. Mm. Um, and I got so many like negative comments when I told people I was coming to Kenya, and they're like, oh, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, but yeah, it's been the complete opposite. You know, I've heard that only broke and like very rural, mm -hmm. traditional Kenyans have issues with homosexuals, mm -hmm. okay. or the LGBT community, mm -hmm. I shall say. Yeah. Like, that's what I've heard. I've heard as far 
as like the rest of the population. They're advanced, they're traveled, they know. I feel like that too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, as long as you're in certain arees, um, everyone was like eating you up mm. on your video because they're like, yeah. oh my god, you overpaid. Oh, I know. Overpaid. I know, guys. Where else were you looking? Otherwise, Westlands. Just Westlands. Why? Yeah. Why I didn't Westlands? Know. Well, I also I feel like people were like recommending, oh, you should go to this place. You go to this place. But as a gay man, I do have to like take yeah. that into consideration. So I need to be in the safest area in any city. And that's yeah, which is priceless. Yeah, yeah. For yeah, real. there's no price. Um, for real. But that made me comfortable for you, mm. knowing that there's cameras everywhere. Yeah, because like I can he, sleep knowing like nobody's gonna come here. Yeah, because yeah. even at the nicest places, there's mm. really I never see this many cameras. Yeah. So when I was walking around, I was like, damn, like this shit is um, like actually every corner. This is more secure <laughs> than the courthouse. <laughs> but I went to the other day. I swear to God, yeah, I went to the courthouse. <laughs> My job summoned me. They're trying oh to take my, my work permit. Oh my gosh! <laughs> they, they call immigration on me. How are you handling this? It's ghetto. Oh immigration. God. First of all, immigration was calling my phone, blowing me up, and I thought it was a nigga because you know how you be drunk in the club sometimes. You give your number. Like, who number is yes. this? Yeah, I was like. I answered like, hello, uh, and they're like, immigration, calling, and I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, because, you know, I was here on a work permit, mm. so my job is basically just trying to get me to go in, cancel my work permit, and get a tourist visa. Okay. But I'm like, y'all sitting here treating me like I'm Nigerian. Like, right, right. I mean, I, I can get a tourist visa overnight, but anyway, this, this ain't about me, it's about you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but dang, girl. So did you, did you apply for the uh, tourist visa? They told me I'm good for a week. And okay. come back, yeah, okay. just okay. get it situated because I'm about to go to Dubai next week. Have you been to Dubai? Not yet. I'm trying to wait until the right time of year. I'm not really interested in going to Dubai. I'm going for my friend's birthday. Mm. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah, I'm not really. Otherwise, then I'm not really interested. Oof, my hair. No, oh my I want to live in Dubai. That's going to be, I don't know when, but at some point in life, I just have this like goal of living in Dubai for like one year and some real estate. I love that for you. Yeah. So it's like I'm an international that. property. It's like international real estate guru, you know? Ooh. Yeah. Like my, my goal in this, even in YouTube, because I started this like in the mindset like this is going to be a business. Like mm. my main goal is to be like an international real estate investor. So everything I do is working towards that. I love that for you. Yeah, for real. That's my goal. I okay. really do. For real. Yeah, I do. Thank do you, you see like... um. Taking a break and going home, what does that look like for you? Well, I just did that. Um, when I left Cape Town in March, I went to the U.S. for two months to check on my family, see my family, just like chill out. Who did you stay with? My mom. Okay. Ooh, it wasn't a bad, nah. Stay with my mom because like, she had some health issues, so I wanted to go check on her. Okay. And after two months, I was like... Over it. Over it. Yeah, when I went home to the U.S. in December, mm. and no, 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 not December, March, I was like a little depressed. Really? Yeah. When did you go? In March. This year. Yeah. Me too. That's crazy. Um, the streets are just like lame. Yeah. Yeah, guys. People, yeah. a lot of Africans think, oh, I want to go to America to party. And it's the complete opposite. Once you party in Africa, it's so like party in the U.S. Lame. is just so lame. And I'm like, three o'clock and the club <laughs> is closing? 2.30. Yeah. Oh we God, just get in lit. Like, I'm <laughs> here i am just turning yes. up at three it's so lame like i went out to the u.s to a party people weren't even dancing it was just no several clicks people standing around looking at each other and they're playing like playing like mary j blige and fantasia like the djs suck in the u.s it's I'm so bad that. yeah in yeah. the club scene yeah it is i do feel that um i've wondered this because mm. i was looking and i was like he's really fashionable yeah he like Dresses very well. He looks like he has a lot of things. Yeah. How do you manage like traveling so much and mm. managing your things? Because mm. even me just moving from like Airbnb to Airbnb, I, have, mm. I feel like I lose so much stuff. Yeah, you told me that. I I, don't know, I do not lose my clothes. No. 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 How do you, like how like before you leave? <laughs> I just forget how. Am I slow? Like, before, before you leave the Airbnb, don't you just do like a, a final walkthrough? I do, but I just feel like I be I, I don't know what it is. I just feel like it's hard. I'm trying to like figure. You look very organized. Oh no! Have you seen my room? Place. No, I think we're packing. I think that came from like my American Airlines mm. type of life, but. 
I know, I don't know, but I have like four suitcases, so I don't pack light. When I was in Mexico, I was like, oh, I'm gonna be like a, a backpacker, like light traveler. I tried that shit, and I was like, this is not for me. I've been wearing the same shirt for three days. Like, that's just yeah, not me. it's so, your life. It's not my life. So It's not giving. Now I have a lot of suitcases, which is another reason why when I do go to a place, I stay for months. Because mm. I can't just be hauling that every week. That's crazy. Do you save... Like, do you um, buy a bunch of clothes in the States and then wear them here? Or do you buy here? Well, kind of both. This time around, like, the two months I was in the U.S., I just shopped the entire time because I knew I was going to, like, go out. But when I was in South Africa, I lived right across the street from, like, a very luxury mall that had pretty much everything I got in the U.S. That's what I heard. Yeah. So you know, I was I shopping heard, every day. Yeah, every day. somebody I mean, told me, like, South Africa literally is like the United States. Literally. It's like the United States with 10% white people. <laughs> but is like it 10% white people? Is it 10%? Is it that low? No, no, no that's just more. like an exaggeration. Okay, because I was about to say, I've heard there's a lot of white people there. Oh, in Cape Town, you'll definitely see more. Okay. But... When I was in Johannesburg, I lived in like the nicest like zip code, mm. and I probably saw two white people a week. Mm. Yeah, so I didn't see that many in Johannesburg versus Cape Town. You, yeah, everywhere yeah. You go. Sometimes, like in Cape Town, I would be the only black person in the restaurant. Yeah, for real. I hate that. I hate that. But you know, I was living like the life you're kind of living right now in the West Wing before. Mm. Mm. And it was like I was the only black person in this restaurant. My experience of Nairobi has completely changed since mm. I moved. Mm. So, like, do you feel like what kind of like local vibes have you felt, or like, do you feel like what have you really been doing in Nairobi? Because we haven't really seen much from you as far yeah. as videos. Guys, I've been working. Like, I still sell real estate in the U.S. Mm. and I'm dealing with three clients, like big ticket clients. So that's kind of where my focus is. Right Ooh, now. big ticket. Yeah, yeah. like. One is like my biggest closing today. It's like a five hundred thousand dollar home. Never, it's not that big, but so you're taking me to wine shop on Saturday. No, no, <laughs> they haven't bought it yet. They haven't bought it yet. I manifested <laughs> for you. So I just been working because that's that's good money. Yeah, yeah. that is good money. Yeah. Um, after this, where do you think you kind of want to settle? Like, what areas have you kind of like? Wow, like this is In moving me. Nairobi. Yeah. After mm. you leave this place. I went to the Village Market. I think that's the name of it. I like that area. It was giving me very residential. I think it's called like Rwanda or something. Not Rwanda, Runda. I really like Runda. that area. That's like by all the embassies. Yeah. Yeah, the like there, embassy land. Like yeah. <laughs> no, I, I like that area. I manifest that for you. Please do. I need that rich man energy around me. You know. I literally went to the store the other day. Mm. I was looking at some incense. And it said cleansing, money prosperity, money blessings. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy these. Mm. And I went to my apartment and I like went and waved it around. I swear the next day I woke up and in my DM, it was like, we <laughs> <laughs> be ready to risk it all for Julia and never seen her trying to look so sexy. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> stop. Y'all are so funny. <clears throat> First of all, I had a long day, which y'all will see. I had videos. Julian is not, they're so annoying, bro. Don't <laughs> explain yourself to them. That's I funny. had a long day. I've been doing a lot today. I have a makeup, like, whole blog that's mm. coming out. Really? But you know what? I'm lying. I mm. am ready to risk it all for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to risk it all for yeah, you. I went yeah. to Cabrera today. Mm. I did a lot today. I've been doing content because you yeah. know how it is. And it's yeah. exhausting. She, I need your energy, girl. They don't really be knowing what I'm doing. I'm on the streets. I have like 20 interviews backed up that I have not posted for y'all. So I'm working and they're telling me I'm ready to risk it all. But I am ready to risk it all. One video. Stop. I need your energy, (laughs) girl. You're so inspiring with your content. You're so consistent. I gotta be because this is my only job. I'm fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. (laughs) Well, now, and I'm just trying to get to 10K. I'm blessed. Let me not say that. My family will always make sure that I'm taken care of. I'm very blessed. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to get to 10K on the road to 10K. You'll be there very soon. It's about consistency. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm leaving Kenya. I'm trying to visit a couple of other countries before I go home. Mm. So I'm really just trying to get as much of Nairobi as I possibly can. Let's read some of the comments. Okay. 
I need a Wait, hold on. Let me see, read this one. Would Julian ever settle in any of those African countries? No, just experience. He just said he would like to live in Dubai. Guys, I want to live in Dubai for like a very short amount of time. I don't want to like settle down in Dubai. Yeah. Cape Town is gay capital city. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, I know. It really is. Is that how you looked as a little girl? Yeah, it no. is. <laughs> it is. Brittany, about to use hella LGBTQ vernacular. What is LGBTQ vernacular? Because technically, most African American slang is from the LGBT community, if That's you want to get funny with it. In Atlanta, most of the things people say started off originally with LGBT community. Mm -hmm. Like snatch, be, yeah, all that, so, like, fish, no, all, all of that comes all from of that. even period. Yeah, um, you are right. Party in Canada is so lame. Brittany today, her looks may be unsee, probably looks like a little girl. Yeah, I was, a, I was <laughs> they are really feeling the uh, <laughs> the pigtails or whatever. <laughs> they are going in. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want me to take my hair down? Damn, it was just because I didn't want my braid, my bun. This wine is making Britney exposed. Nadabas. No, I'm not. Um, do you talk to a lot of your subscribers? Do you um, comment back? Mm, when I can. <laughs> no, I'm going to say my PC answer. Yeah, yeah, when I can, but like, I mean, like, some videos, it's a lot. Like, yeah, you're too popular. Yeah, 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 I did. But I've noticed back in March, I turned my notifications off on my phone. Not that I've turned like the comments off, but notifications and getting comments. Mm. Because let's say like now we're having a good time and then I just see a random comment from a it's video a from four months ago and it's like, it's a lie. show yourself now. And I'm just like, <laughs> People are not saying that to you. Time. I mean, yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, I get real. I'm starting to get very mean comments. I mean, the bigger you get, the more that's going to How does that, like, affect you? Oh, it doesn't. Not, it doesn't? Not, yeah, not like I'm, like, sad or anything about it, because I feel like... You're a I've been gay. I've been gay my whole life, and it's just like, girl, I'm not used... I mean, I'm used to this, so... Yeah. I'm used to, like, in-person disrespect, so something online doesn't really bother me that much. And I'm very confident in who I am. Like, you can't tell me I'm ugly. You can't tell me I'm broke. I mean, what can you tell me? I'm gay? Like, that's not an insult to me, you know? Yeah. It's not an insult, so. That's bad. Yeah. Do you feel like you would um, get as much love and acceptance in Africa if you were ugly? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know, but I do understand. I saw a video. <laughs> No, I'm just sweating. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. The real, the real tea. Yeah, I'm just you were sweating before. Yeah, yeah you were sweating every before. time I drink the wine, it makes me hotter. Don't drink the wine. But what was the question? Do you feel like you would be as accepted or have like a not so tough time in Africa if you were ugly? Mm. Do you think that your aesthetic plays a role? Not me being in Africa, no. or even just in life. Well, no, I, I don't think being in Africa that plays that big of a role, but I think being on YouTube, it does. Mm -hmm. There is a thing called... The notoriety. Yeah. The notoriety. Like, I saw, like, a lot of videos trending last year about pretty privilege, and it was how, like, basically women were talking about pretty privileges, but I also think men have those as well that we don't really talk about, but it's a real thing. Even in real estate, I got most of my clients just on, I mean, being honest, how I look. It was men that thought... If you know, I was their age and they would have a chance at me. That's mm. real life. So it wasn't all like actual talent or anything like that. It was, I mean, I did my job, but I knew the initial, like, their the reaching out. Like, you know, I'm like, I'm not stupid. I don't know why. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I think it's when it plays men a part. who are married mm. and like down low come at you, do mm. you go off? No, I don't go off. Go, why would I go off? On them. No, 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 I don't go off. But I, I'm not into married men, so I do respectfully decline. But I don't go off because I do understand, like, reasons why people aren't as comfortable as coming, coming out. out. Especially in this part of the world. So yeah. that's not my place for me to go off on them. But What I made you, um, this is the only question I really want to ask, and then mm -hmm. otherwise that, we're not here to have an LGBTQ talk. Mm -hmm. um, what made you comfortable to come mm -hmm. out? Mm. Like, I don't when even did you say, come out? 
or like was it like that type of situation where your mom was just like I've all I've always known type yeah you know? Kind of. I don't. I don't know. It wasn't like a coming out story. I like to so say you like, never I had like a in. mom. I'm gay. Like, no, I told her I was gay, but she already knew. Like, yeah, like, already knew. Like I was a ballet dancer growing up, like seven years old in ballet tights. So. But I think that that says a lot about your family. The fact that yeah. they even like let you. Not. Yeah. I don't want to say let you, but the yeah. fact that they like were supportive. able. You yeah. were able to do that exactly because a lot of guys. Would never even be able yeah, to do that, yeah. you know. So that says a lot about your family as Absolutely. far as support and transparency. Yeah, and I feel like that's definitely helped me become the person I am today because I really go through life. Well, my mom told me when I did like officially tell her at fourteen, she asked me like, "Julian, who are you?" And I was like, "What?" And like I told her I'm Julian, and then the second trait trait I said was I'm gay. And she was just like, no, that's not who you are. At the end of the day, that's just who you decide. To who you lay with. Who you lay with. But she was like, yeah. don't let it define who you are as a person. You know, so I try to live by that. In my interview with Tadre the other day, I was saying that I feel like all females are mm. inherently bisexual. Mm. Okay. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm not a female, so I don't know. I don't think I have too much insight on that. But I don't think that's true. No? No, no. No. I feel like the way that girls can like kind of like, I'm gonna kiss the girl and I like that like vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get what I'm saying? Or like yeah. girls like, oh she's sexy. Like, ah! like you know. What I I'm think saying? I think women are more 